Hi guys, how are you? Um, I'm very excited to do this tutorial and to share with you guys. Um, it's a new collection from Body Shop that's gonna be launched. It's their new makeup uh, uh, range um, by uh, Lily Cole. It's a collaboration with her. She's like the first ambassador for Body Shop. And the makeup is cruelty free and you know Body Shop is like non-animal tested uh, makeup products. So, okay, I got my hands filled already. These are the products. I'm not sure you can see it all. There are 10 in total. This whole look is created using uh, all these products and uh, <laughs> I really love it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see. This is the eye makeup. Okay, so the first step is to prime your face. And what we have here is the Pearl Radiant Radiance Primer. It has these little pearls of radiance <laughs> inside. Um, I'm gonna try it out. It looks really fun. Hmm. Okay, it looks like this. I'm like scrubbing my face, but um, just lightly pat the color, the cream into your face. It will like, mm, what do you say? Dissolve. <laughs> okay, so. I'll let it set in a bit and then apply my foundation and then with my powder and I'll be back with the I will start with the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna start off with a look um, that can be used for day at work and then after that I'm gonna do one that is like using the other two colors to touch up and so that it can go out at night. <laughs> okay, so to start off Definitely, um, the first rule is to use the lightest colour. It will be this pink here. It's called Think Pink. I'll be using a round eyeshadow brush. And pick up the um, Think Pink. Basically, I will fill here from the brow area here. Just slightly pat it. And down. I'm not gonna touch like three quarters of the other, you know, the lower part of the eyes. That will be later on. And then um, with the same brush, I'm gonna pick up the um, light purple. This one here, uh, it should be called Left Lilac, if I'm not wrong. Okay. And I'm gonna just, you know, the rest of the area of the eye that's not touched by the pink eyeshadow. That's where I want to go on to. Pat it on. So actually, with this light um pink and purple eyeshadow. Um, you can just draw a little thin eyeliner and mascara and you're kind of good to go for your daily chores um, or even just to work. So actually how are you going to make full use of the whole palette and transform this look to go out at night after work drinks and all. Basically definitely you have to use up the two darker colours and first I'll use the brownish one. Um, if I'm not wrong, it should be tinted pink. And this time around, I'm using a bullet shaped um, brush. This one. And I'm going to pick up the, pink, the darker pink. So what I'm going to do is come over here. Okay. Just like one third of the outer corner of the eye, bring it up to a V and brush it up to your crease. So you create like a V shape on your outer corner of your eye. You can go light first and then you know you just add the intensity as you go. This is how playful it can be. And it has these little glittery bits that's like 
making your eyes look um, awake. And since it's for the night, I want to make it go darker. So you pick up the last color, this one. It should be called Go Violet. <laughs> it's a dark purple. And with the same bullet shaped brush, this time around, all you do is just stroke the hmm, uh, the outer corner here and you pull it out and down. So you create a really sharp V here. Just be careful of fallouts though. You can make it go even darker if you want more dramatic okay and so once you're done um you will definitely have to put eyeliner and this with this collection they have this really cool purple uh liquid eyeliner and i'm not sure if you can see it it's this purple here it's a, a dark violet so it's not that far away from black it's just a little twist so I know girls are really, some of you girls are really worried about using colored eyeliner. This is definitely something you can try. And you know, as how you always draw your eyeliner. And then, at the end here, you do a flick. Actually, it's very much following your eyeshadow, the, the way that you flicked it just now. Okay, so I've applied mascara already and then now it's on to the cheeks. Um, just one more thing actually, with this colour eyeshadow right, and the purple eyeliner, you can actually use purple mascara or even blue mascara. Um, I've actually used black here but you know, if you just want to play with colours, blue and purple works. It's okay. <laughs> so now on to the cheeks. So what I have here for the cheeks are uh, these two um, dome shaped uh, they call it a cheek and lip dome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really shaped like a dome, but it reminds me more of a ladybug though. <laughs> and it comes in the orangey tone and the pinkish tone. Pinkish tone. Um, I'm gonna use both. And all you do, right? Really, it's so fun. Um, all you do is you just uncap it, and then you see this like almost like a plastic thing, right? But it's not. It's not. It's just the bum. You just rub. Uh, can you see? Like it's there's an orangey tone to it to my skin already. It's a really natural looking color, and um, let me show you the pink one. This is it. This is the pink one. So what I'll do is actually to layer them to show you how you can actually utilize both. Um, but you have to be really. You have to be really light on this, like you just do like once first, if you don't like then you know then you add on because the colour can come off really dark. The, the, the pink one you can see I stroked it like twice or three times only and it's really so dark. So I'll use the orange one first. Basically from here, here, I'm just gonna stroke it down. Very lightly, just to give it a little um, what do you call it? Uh, contouring. Okay. You can always dab a little to like uh, rub off the. If you find it's too dark, you can dab it off. And then now onto the pink one. It's here. You're gonna focus more on your apples. And instead of rubbing, right, this time round I'm gonna do a pat. Just bring it up a little. Puff on radiance. Sorry. It's this uh, ball. <laughs> And you can see inside you get balls of, um, pearls of radiance. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get all these pearls here. They're actually of different tones. 
So you just want to rub and get uh, every single color into the puff, which I can't bear to use. <laughs> uh, okay, here you go. <laughs> you know, areas that you want to highlight, right, would be on the cheek here. You see it's glowing already compared to the other side. And then the other side, the nose. Above the brows and chin. These are areas that you want it to stand out. You you want to create that 3D feel. The other thing that I'm gonna do again because since it's called a lip and cheek dome, I'm gonna use it on my lips as well. Um, but because I've already had powder on top, I'm just gonna lightly rub off the top first just to be clean okay, I'm just going to use my finger and pick up the colour and I'm going to dab it into my lip I feel a little um, glossy like lip balm kind of feel but I'm liking the pink like it, it's just giving a natural lips uh, uh, a, a, a lighter what do you call it uh, pinkier shade of color okay so down to the last step um, these are lip shines uh, they call it lip treatment with high shine uh, I will actually treat it as like a lip gloss okay. let me hold it properly okay. four shades the lighter pink here a uh, raspberry looking color one a peach colored one and a coral colored one. Let me try out the colors on my hand. This one that I'm trying now is the um, pink, light pink one. I think it's gonna be like a transparent layer. Ooh, okay. It's really shiny. It's like a like your nail polish, your your glitter top coat. This is it. And then we'll go on to the raspberry colored one it's like a darker shade of pink it's like a darker shade of pink but it still has that glitter effect and I mean different colors different effect right? okay and then the peach colored one it doesn't have much difference from the pink one unless you look closely right this is more of a skin tone color and the glitter, right, this is more goldish orangey kind of glitter, whereas the pink one has a pink multicolored uh, whitish kind of glitter. So that's the difference. And then down to the last one, the coral colored one. Glitters are a bit, it's finer actually, so it's not that in your face shiny, but um... It has this multicolored uh, shine to it, and then a light pink tinge to it. Actually, out of all of them, I, I like the last one, the coral color one. For now, after the, after the uh, lip dome that I've used, I'm going to dab on the um, coral color one, which is called Go... Which is called Go Play. Okay, so I hope you like the tutorial and do check out the collection once it's out. Um, it will be out, if I'm not wrong, which will be end June. And uh, yeah, go try it. I really love the colors. It's like pink and purple. It's such sweet colors. You can always match it with like floral dresses, your white dresses, your... I okay, can imagine everybody wearing like frocks and dresses out lace and ribbons just to match this makeup so if you do get it let me know what you think about it or even like if you have done something similar to this tutorial you know let me know and I mean share with me I love to see it have fun see you